Is it a freaking alien? Look at it. Look at its white belly. And welcome back, back, back to the excitement that is me growing stuff in pots. Hoorah. I have no freaking idea what it is with the garden, just managing to find every single bug imaginable. Oh, I'm sure I saw something there. There is, look. Bloody grasshopper. Let me just grab that. Ow. Did I just say ow? Ow, you're spiking me. Stop. Just gonna go feed this to a lizard and I'll be back. And that's so much better. Yeah, as I was saying, there are so many bugs. That weird caterpillar thing that looks like something from Pokemon, I have no idea. But anyway, I have my first banana plant. <sighs> I know, I know, I know. It was an impulse buy. Look at it, that's apparently where bananas come from. <laughs> they get very big. I'm not entirely, where's Benji? Did I just, actually that is not a banana by the way. I just found that. A banana you say? <laughs> that is an eggplant. Why is it yellow? It came from the white eggplant plant, plant, eggplant plant. <laughs> I don't know why it's yellow, but it's yellow. Yeah, new red, New morph. I don't know. Anyway, we have banana plant. I think it is a dwarf something, dwarf cabbage. I don't know, something like that. I don't know whether I should leave it in a pot. Obviously not that size pot. Probably not even that size pot. I was gonna put a shade thing over there, but now I'm thinking if I plant bananas there, bananas you say? <laughs> Yes, I've only got one so far, but by the end of this video, I may have more than one. This is over a few days, obviously. Mm, we'll see, but I'm thinking now I might put banana tree. Are they banana trees or banana plants? Comment down below because I have no idea. I'm thinking I'll put them there and then they can grow up there and then shade this. They apparently take, I think, two years to fruit so they grow super super fast probably way way too fast for a pot yeah and i think you can get like you know 200 liter pots but that's just getting ridiculous especially if they grow so fast i think they grow for two years and then they have lots of suckers and you can replant the suckers i'm guessing what that is that is a sucker <coughs> it's a banana plant so the whole plan now is to maybe have banana plants along there and then do my shade thing up there, which I have not done. It is a week later after the last video. That makes no sense. This video is a week after the last video. <laughs> cut, cut. My pawpaws. I think they've stopped growing. Okay, well that one has definitely stopped growing. It's a little bit mingy. I'm not too sure what we're doing with those. Maybe I need to fertilize them better. I'm not too sure, but the original pawpaws are now huge. Look at the size of these. They're maybe four foot, five foot, which is large. I know they get a lot bigger than that, but they are still in pots. They are going well. Everything else is kind of settled a little bit. We had a 40 degree Celsius, which is like over a hundred Fahrenheit day the other day. And a lot of this stuff was in full sun and it survived. So I'm getting better at knowing what should be in full sun and what shouldn't be in full sun. A few things kind of wilted a little bit, but they've come back. I am on grasshopper patrol, caterpillar patrol, everything patrol. Oh, check out that. How cool is that praying mantis? They are the good ones because they eat the bugs. So I just need more of those. Oh, my apples. Someone in my last video commented and said I should cut this, well, I should cut them all down. I didn't cut this one down because it's branching. So with that one, this one I snipped. 
I did try and replant it. I don't know if that's going to grow. Obviously the leaves came off the thing, but instead of just chucking it away, we've planted it anyway. But it has got a couple of new shoots already, and that was less than a week. So I'm guessing it grows pretty freaking fast, as they said it would. Some cirrus, seriously. What are you doing, Benji? Benji is way over there. He's just chilling. So that is what they have been doing, just sitting and looking pretty. Oh, I did repot some of the figs. So I'm pretty sure that one is Jenny. Is that Jenny? Jenny. And that one's some weird VDS, which is a disease or something. And I can't remember what that one is because there was no tag. I'm pretty sure it was just written on the shaft. <laughs> Oh, well, we have those three. I still have to repot the other ones. I am out of soil. I think in my last video I said I deliberately didn't get a lot of soil because I didn't want to get that all sorted and use them all at once. But now I do need soil. I found out my new blueberry, the last one, Northland, apparently is no good to grow where I am in the heat. It did kind of get fried on the 40 degree day, but I'm pretty sure that's just a 40 degree day. So I'm not too sure how that one's gonna go. I should place it with the other blueberries, but I haven't. What else has happened? There's a lot of things that have happened. Oh yes, my tomatoes have started growing back. Well, the ones that I haven't biffed, I didn't actually get rid of them, but I did take all the soil out and there's my pot sitting there. All the soil out and reused as the soil for some of these other little trees and stuff like that. If you haven't seen the last videos, all the tomatoes had a weird fungal infection. They attracted every single bug imaginable from the whole of Brisbane. They just flocked and destroyed everything. Yeah, I was finding bugs I've never even heard of. Much like that weird, weird caterpillar at the start of the video. Ah, <laughs> uh, so things that grow fast attract bugs, obviously. And then fruit trees have their own certain types of bugs, but less inclined to completely wipe out the plant because they take so long to grow. So it kind of makes sense. Yeah, much like all the issues that cactus and stuff are having, but they are getting better. I did find out that the grape, which is still looking like absolute trash, this grape has a fungal infection. So I do have the name of the stuff that I want to, well, I do have the name of the stuff to get rid of the fungal infection. I went to Bunnings to get it, got sidetracked and ended up getting a banana. So we're gonna try and go back to Bunnings either tonight or tomorrow night, because obviously we work and get that spray before it destroys my whole plant. Because not only is this one looking mingy, the one next to it is starting to look a little bit mingy now. So obviously that has spread to this one. And now the next one is looking mingy. Isn't that great? I know. Last week it was just that one. Now we're spreading, but it's been raining, stupid hot, humidity. I don't want this one to turn to crap and I don't want that one to turn to crap. Well, I don't want any of them to turn to crap, but there's a new wasp. Hello. I have no idea what type of wasp you are. Wasps are generally good though, because wasps eat bugs. There's my paper wasps under there. There's Benji in the background. <laughs> so I wonder if paper wasps and, oh, that wasp's gone now. Probably not friends. Oh look, there's some random bug poo there. So I have to continuously look for caterpillars and bugs because they are wiping everything out. I know. But that is where we are with the grapes. I have not done anything to this area. As you can see by the giant overgrown mess Caladiums are way down in there somewhere. Be very, very easy to bulldoze this. I may do this in this video as well. I'm not entirely sure because as I said, this video is all over the place and it hasn't happened yet, but it probably has happened. <laughs> Check out the hog plums. 
I have no idea how big hog plums get. I should probably Google that. That is a dwarf hog plum plant, but I'm guessing the hog plums are not dwarf size. <laughs> Who even knows? <sighs> oh, and we had another disaster. Our variegated capsicums got the dreaded mites, sprayed the crap out of them. Oh, and look who died. Well, he's kind of coming back. That's my basil. It grew really, really high, seeded, and then died. I'm not too sure if it was supposed to die or if something weird happened to it. Probably not enough water with all the really hot days. No idea. But if you want to comment down below if basil does that, that would be great. It does have new shoots though. So I'm not too sure with that. Uh, otherwise, in this sort of section, our eggplants are growing a second lot of life, if that even makes sense. They fruited, we had a ridiculous amount of eggplants. Check out that, that's a variegated eggplant. That's the dodgy one. <laughs> yeah, so there are eggplants again. There was a lot of bugs wiping them out. Most of the bugs are gone, so that's probably why they're growing back. But I do need cages for these, as I said in the last video, to stop all the caterpillars, all the bugs. All the caterpillars are now trying to eat the cactus, ah, which is an absolute pain. Ah. What else has happened? This, which is my native ginger, has just gone nuts. Obviously, they like the heat. I've just watered it. It's early, early morning, but it's supposed to grow blue balls and it has not grown blue balls. And talking about blue balls, who are, <laughs> I think I need to get these guys out of the pots. Look how scarred that is, you poor cactus. And get them into bigger pots. These are all the blueberries. That is the first one, but the blueberries are way too small. Why is that so small? So I probably need to fertilize them more. I don't know if they need more water or not. Comment down below, it's probably water and fertilizer. I am still learning all this stuff, but blueberries go really well in full sun. Apart from that one over there, but we know why that one won't go well. <laughs> so yeah, I think I need to upgrade these to that size pot. They should be fine for a while in that size pot, I'm guessing. But they're growing really, really well. Just no blueberries on them, except for the first one, which is kind of strange. It's the same soil. Maybe it's the time of year. I don't know. I don't know enough about them yet. Bird. There's a bird. Giant parrot thing. Or oh, cockatoo. Yeah, that's where we are with that. So let's jump a little bit in the video for the next day or so and see what we've done with bananas. Oh, the peas too. I need to put the peas in a bigger pot. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. That's the word we're looking for. Let's jump. So this is my fish room, which is actually around the other side of the house. And that is my black rice. Yes, this is kind of aquaponics. <laughs> kind of, sort of. I just need to top the water up because it does evaporate on the hot days. But why we are here is to check out this awesome plant. Look at its spiky bits. That is cr ow, crazy. <laughs> We're gonna zoom a little bit closer in and have a look at that, but wow. I cannot remember the name of it, but it is the spiky version of the non-spiky version. So this is the original version, then they produced a non-spiky version, which I have around the front, which I keep forgetting to film. It is such a, such a cool plant. I also have, yeah, and there is a lot of plants. I still got that whole backyard, there's Benji, whole backyard to tidy up and try and sort out with plants. We're not even going to go there. These are not fruit plants. There is not really any fruit stuff out there. But my little seedlings, look at them. Oh, there's the name on the thing. It is a fawny something or other. Fawny wapa whoopa whoopa. Those are the little tiny seedlings. Just starting to get their little tiny spikes. I have to have them here because the bugs don't know about this section. And if the bugs don't know about the section, they're safe. 
<laughs> I also have some Trichocerus. Oh, if we can open this without destroying them. Seedlings, little baby cactus. So far, so so far, so well. So far, so good, I was going to say. Uh, whatever they are. MSS Cross Possum Scope. Don't even ask. Um, yeah, so we have germinated some of these in the last... Oh, there they are. Germinated these in the last month or so. They're just chilling here. Early, early morning sun, like 5 a.m. morning sun. And then I will put them into slightly bigger containers. And then we'll have an army of cactus, which we're going to baby this time. But I thought I would just show you how cool the spikes are on this thing. It is like one of my favorite fruit trees. They get big, apparently. It's not big at the moment. It will get big. Let's jump back to the banana thing. <laughs> oh look, it's days later and I have done nothing. I have been flat out with work. Boo! So if we can get like a million views on this video so I don't have to work and I can just do stupid stuff like this every day, that would be wonderful. Tell your friends. So what we're going to do is just pretend that is there. And I've gone and I've got another four banana plants and they're all over there and they're that high. How awesome does that look? Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I know. What's this silly thing that we have to do called work when we could be just playing with plants and generally having fun? Not that work isn't fun. Well, my work is fun, but yes. <laughs> We're going to leave this video here, but I'll try and do the next video in the next couple of days. Hopefully, I think there's a public holiday at the end of this week, so we're going to try and get stuff done here and generally have fun. Benji, what are you doing? Quick, quick. Psst. Wait, what are you doing? Quick, come here. Quick. He's a little boy. He's a tiny boy. Oh, Benji is a tiny boy, aren't you? That's your flank. That's your flank. Here's your little tail. Here's your little tail. Here's a little boy. Oh, you grunted. Don't eat my plant. Oh. Can dogs eat ginger? I'm pretty sure they can. You can have a taste, but that's all. That's all. He's a little boy. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching my random garden video. Yes, a few more days. Hopefully, I will have another video with that stuff. And 100 banana plants. <laughs> Woof. See you later.